Hello, I'm Tanya Beckett. Welcome. Former athlete Oscar Pistorius has been released from prison on parole more than 10 years after killing his girlfriend and is now at home. The South African has served just over half of his jail sentence following a crime and trial that dominated international headlines. He shot Riva Steenkamp multiple times through a bathroom door on Valentine's Day in 2013, later claiming he mistook her for a burglar at their home in Pretoria. Riva's mother says that she is serving a life sentence. There are live pictures now of the prison in Utteridgeville where Pistorius has been held for the past nine years from Pretoria. Daniel de Simone sent us this report. Oscar Pistorius is champion. 47 Oscar Pistorius, convicted murderer, today leaves prison on parole. He was once a Paralympic and Olympic superstar, nicknamed the Blade Runner. His victim was girlfriend Reva Steenkamp, a law graduate and model. Pistorius murdered her on Valentine's Day 2013 by shooting four times through a locked toilet door at his home. His trial absorbed the world. Pistorius claimed to have shot Reva by mistake, thinking an intruder was in the house. I got to the bed and then I realised Reva wasn't there. At first only found guilty of the equivalent of manslaughter, he was convicted on appeal in 2015 of murder, with judges saying his story was inconsistent and improbable. Reva's close friend says she's heard no evidence he's changed. I want to know, has he been given proper anger management therapy? And in saying that, this rehabilitation, have they focused on all of that? Because in my opinion, Oscar walking around as a free man without the necessary training and treatments and psychiatric evaluations, he is deadly on the streets. In November, Pistorius was granted parole with release set for today. For five years, he'll live under conditions and could be returned to prison if he breaches them. So, comes Campaigners against male violence say his release sends a terrible signal. Oscar's release is an indication that we have a serious problem, that there's, uh, I guess, a, norm a normalization of leniency when it comes to predators, when it comes to anyone who commits any type of femicide or gender-based violence. Reva Steenkamp's mother says the void left by her murder can never be filled by anyone else. Daniel Desimone, BBC News, Pretoria. We're live now to Daniel de Simone, who is in Pretoria. So, Daniel, what happens now? Presumably there are considerable restrictions imposed upon Pistorius and he needs to be protected. His personal security needs to be ensured, doesn't it? Well, there, there will be conditions. We haven't actually had, you know, an official statement saying what all of the conditions are, but we do know what some of them are just through what we, we understand. Um, some of the conditions include that he has to go on uh, mandatory programmes relating to anger management and concerning gender-based violence, meaning violence against women and girls. He's going to be barred from drinking alcohol, consuming illegal drugs. He's also going to have to be at a fixed place each day. We think that's probably uh, a family home, not that far away. And he's also going to be banned from speaking to the media. So don't expect to see any interviews with him uh, any time soon. With regards to his personal security, um, he's so famous that, of course, there's going to be a lot of interest in him, particularly from the press, but just from everyone in South Africa, really. So that, that will be an issue. But um, I don't think that's been a particular issue in the sense of, um, you know, you do get some cases that are so, the person's so infamous that they're actually at danger. There hasn't been talk of that, of that here. And in terms of uh, South Africans themselves, um, what is the feeling about his release? Well, if you talk to people in South Africa, you'll still get different views on the case. Uh, the case, I think it's fair to say, in some ways, divided South Africa because you just have different people with different opinions. It was, it was a contested trial. There was no dispute that he had shot Reva Steenkamp um, after firing th four times through the toilet door that she, she was behind. He just denied uh, knowing it was her. He said he thought an intruder was in the house. The prosecution said he, he did know what he was doing. And so there have always been people taking different views on that. But the, the fact is, he is a convicted murderer. The Supreme Court of Appeal convicted of murder. It said his account contained it, was, in, uh, was inconsistent, contained improbabilities. So wh whatever, whatever people think, the fact is he's a convicted murderer. And I think there's a lot of concern here about gender-based violence. It's a big issue here. So campaigners 
on that issue say that they feel this case, because it's the best known case here, certainly for of gender-based violence, that they're worried that him being released at this stage sent, sends a message, a kind of a weak message. Having said that, June Steenkamp, uh, Reva's mother, said in a statement today that she's sort of reassured that he's going to be made to do these mandatory programmes on, on, on anger management and on gender-based violence. Daniel, thank you very much.